Well, the fiery train derailment in Ohio earlier this year highlighted the dangers of transporting hazardous materials. It's also a concern in the air. CBS News has learned cases involving hazardous materials are happening about twice a week on U.S. passenger planes. The greatest risk is actually posed by lithium-ion batteries, which can more easily catch planes on fire. Our investigator Katie Weiss has been looking into the impact here in Colorado. Katie, what are you finding? Well, I actually scoured a federal database showing all sorts of bizarre incidents involving passengers on planes coming in and out of Denver. And I found that on rare occasions, the phone that you carry around every day can burst into flames once you're up in the air. We've had a lot of incidents here recently where uh, cell phones have lit on fire, where watches have lit on fire, bait pens have lit on fire. Aviation attorney Joseph LaRusso has represented thousands of pilots in Colorado. As a pilot himself, he's no stranger to the dangers being up in the air can present for our modern day tech. Extreme cold temperatures, pressure changes, barometric changes, uh, sudden changes, rapid changes. It really challenges and stresses those batteries and those electronics to kind of their range of acceptability, both high and low. Our investigation into federal records found over the last 10 years, there have been over 100 hazardous materials incidents in Colorado in the aviation industry. About two thirds of those incidents involved cargo planes, but another third involved commercial passenger flights. In 2021, one Delta passenger's checked bag was leaking sodium hydroxide, a harsh chemical that can burn the skin on contact. The leak caused a Delta employee and and TSA agent to go to the hospital. Fortunately, they were both okay. One of the most expensive airplane incidents at DIA was on a United Airlines flight in 2016 when a passenger's cell phone burst into flames while he was playing a game on it. The incident created $5,000 in damages, but fortunately, no one was injured. Records show more than a dozen incidents over the last decade involving overheating lithium batteries. Things like vape pens, laptops, and cell phones overheating, smoking, or catching fire on planes. Pay attention when you book your ticket. It's that, that little diagram now. They're even putting pictures on it, right? Pay attention to that. And if you're sending tech through the mail, make sure it's properly labeled, or you could put other lives at risk and face a hefty fine. And in many cases, it's based on uh, what has put the, uh, the general public at risk, what's put the airframe at risk and the flight crew at risk. And in many cases, let's say you have a, a bag full of 22 lithium batteries, right? That's 22 independent fines that the EFA would bring against either you or your business. Now, he hopes to see specialized fire containment bags become more commonplace, as he says they are the best tool to put out lithium battery fires in an instant on planes. Right now, the FAA doesn't require them, but most major airlines do carry them. But because they can cost thousands of dollars, it's tough for those smaller companies or private plane owners to buy them. And meanwhile, Michael Karen, uh, we also reached out to United for a comment and have not heard back. And Delta Airlines wouldn't comment about those specific incidents that you just heard about. But but they say that safety is their top priority. Certainly interesting. Something to think about. Yeah, I certainly had no idea that this was a thing. Yeah. So well, there you go. All right, Katie, thank you. Well, in an effort to crack down on 